Welcome back to Ace Attorney. This is episode 10. We're on the third trial of the third case. Seven trial of the third case. trial day of the third case. But, you know. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Someone voted Yosuke. Huh. <laughs> we got 80% now to 20% Yosuke. That's five votes so far. I'm happy that at least some people understand. <laughs> yeah. Why do you look so... Oh, wait, that's you. Did I, you... Did, I already did that. Uh. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Um. Right, Mia? She looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> this, is no... this is no time for dead people, Judge, please. You know we were going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Like someone being a lying hack. Wouldn't... Are you sure this is the last day? Because I remember, like, there's another event involving the Mafia after. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Alright, we'll do this trial. And then... We have to find something Phoenix today! That... Because um. that's around the time when we find out that... Yeah. The... It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. One day I'm going to seriously grind my ass off on case 5, and it'll probably be tonight. I just want to be fucking done with that case. Okay. Unfortunately, game 2 has some of the lowest of the game. Fuck! Oh no, it's because, like, the run decisions are fucking stupid. I know about the circus. I was going to say the fact that you start the game getting amnesia. Fuck! Oh well. I'm just- I just want to see you guys. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Adler, for your opening statement, please. Excuse me while I eat. I'll be wandering the pool every now and then. Yep. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. No thanks to Old Bag. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. Let me call your first mis witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that reducer. The prosecution calls <laughs> Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that the <clears throat> I hope you're ready. Will the witness state his name or profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me! I'm the director. I made the steel samurai noob waffle. Sis <laughs> Salmonella. I'm a director of television. It's considering how um how M Maya reacted when she first saw Salmonella, like after finding out who she who is, how do you think like Miles is acting in the inside? <laughs> He's dying. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please have to to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Mr. Pa if Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer did on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time playing on the pressure. She really does not look happy. <laughs> yeah. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock in the morning. During the morning, I was doing, uh, uh your mo- uh, I, mean, <laughs> I was doing an action scene run through. Who do you think this is? Ray William Johnson? Oof. Is that doing your mom? Oh. That, that was just out of instinct. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. It was out of instinct. 
took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch at the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio too, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. Um, Mr. Hammer's job was 2.30 p.m.? And according to your testimony, your testimony, you were in the meeting at the time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Is that when you always come in the work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sort of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I don't know about the. I, I know all about the phrase in your industry. Does, does he believe Salmonella like an ugly bastard for the porn industry? <laughs> Still, F. F. W. I. W. I was pretty busy that day. Sad From face. what I remember. From what I remember, I was pretty I busy. think. Sad face. I could be wrong. Tell us more about tell us more about that day. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Is anyone else gonna run for? Oh yeah, that's a curry lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL! She was cheering on hammer if you can believe it. She certainly has the lens for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twists his ankle through the what during the run through, see? Oh, right, that's the land. Which of course led to me missing my lunch. ROFS. Rolling on the floor sobbing. <laughs> I think. Yeah. ROFS? Rolling on the floor starving? <laughs> I hear everyone. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak! The assistant took some up. From the banquet, there was a plate with some bones on the employee area. Everyone else meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Yeah. So in the end, he didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe Wait it? Wait a minute. That must there was done. food over there. It's contradictory. Now that you mention it. Mr. Manel! Hmm. What do you want? <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There are two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, er, uh, mm, eh. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I er, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect this much. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I er, wolfed it down then. <laughs> A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a second. If there's a break in that meme, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. What were you discussing? Seal Samurai's story and our budget. Get this! The sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Um... <laughs> Can you believe it? It's only a slight bit of adult references in there. So oh, wait, never mind. I just realized what it was. For the grown-ups. They said, I'm pretty sure it relates to the twist. Because you know he, what he wanted to happen? Why? Oh, yeah. Mute, for, or mute this for a second?
we turned off the mic for a second for reasons. Me, mainly just me not wanting to spoil this for the one yeah. person who hasn't watched it. Yeah. But like, actually, I kind of can. So, nobody left the table in the whole meeting? Three of them beauty. Well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chair. Yeah. Actually, you didn't take a single break. Or, well, yeah, not a one. Hmm. What's he explaining so much about? I don't have an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell a story that you ate a T-Bell and steak during the break? Oops, R-O-F-L! Well, uh... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, 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 yeah, I guess I did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to this court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Er... Ha! 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 Uh-oh. That's what that's laughing. The break. Yeah, boy, we took a break, Ruffle. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 2. 12. Base 12. Not enough time for someone to uh, say commit murder in Studio One. Lol. It's only just enough time to use keep on space. Thank you if you ask me. Steams. That's way too short of a time for T-Bone. Mm. I don't think it'd be enough for even for time for that, but that's just me. <laughs> <sighs> Very willing to be in the class examination. Hmm. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Wait, did that say 2 or 12? I'm, 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 I'm 12, not. 12. Idiot my T bone steak. What else? There were two plates on that table? Oh right, the other one was Diva's. Uh, sorry, D. Vasquez plates. However you pronounce it. D. Vasquez, the producer. Huh. <sighs> To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not no. <laughs> Why is that? That's all. <laughs> yeah, he gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing the cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. Lol. Lol, Phoenix? That testimony was too short to bring any kind of use right now. All I have to do is prove that he was able to get to Studio One that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Um... Press that, maybe? What time is that to take this break? Hmm... I'd say it was from around uh, 2.30 or so until uh, 2.45. 2.30! That's the time of death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. Fifteen. That is fifteen minutes. Hmm. Is there anything I could present? Actually, when's that photo the end? 2 tier. Um, okay. Actually, I'm gonna save. Wait, 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 wait. Ho hold on, I, I just remembered. The, the monkey clock was out between 2.15 and 4. Four o'clock, so how would he know the time? 
Let me... You think he has a watch? Damn it. This is why he saved. <laughs> Ignore that! Again. You did the exact same place too. Now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm curious. What sort of fucking time of business? <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, so it's not the monkey yet. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> All right. Now that uh, we have uh, <laughs> our, uh, now we know it's not the monkey head. It's not the NFT. Sorry. Um. Um. Okay. Maybe it's a fifteen-minute break thing. Why on this this specific land? Let's do this. That do that. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Maybe the photo? No. Maybe it was the monkey that time, it's just... I put the monkey that time. No, but you kept on doing it on the same line, it was the next line over. Well, I'll try the monkey. It's not the monkey. Yeah, we can reload now. Oh my god, what was the op what was the correct option for this? Uh I'm just gonna Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit every option until I see the right one. So you're gonna press on every statement you're gonna like uh object on every statement with every piece of evidence or something? Yes. Including the badge! <laughs> the witness statement is clearly funny. Don't trust me. Why? <laughs> this is one way to go around it, I guess. I guess. It is. Right. Well, I guess until you figure this out, I can actually eat my ham, my my chicken burger. It. I know, it's probably isn't it. Nope. Not any of those. Probably isn't it. Not it. Not that text box. Um, okay. Save here, so it's faster. W mean? Hmm, doodle up. Oh, I'm doing this. For what it's worth. Hmm. It's trial and error. Literally.
Imagine if you had to present to you somewhere. I'm being funny. Camera. Come on. If you try them all, you'll eventually get the right one. You know it's the right one. The music stops. Mm -hmm. I did that. I'm using my attorney's badge for the shits of it. Okay, I went through every single piece of evidence. Nothing happens. Reload one more time. I must be on the wrong track. I'm so reload. I read every single piece of evidence. Did you remember to press, uh, like the first statement before you did all that? Yeah. It's probably you know, because sometimes um, evidence won't work until you press a, st a statement before doing that. I don't remember if the save that we had originally was. It's not always going to be fire coming out of the monkey's head, my friend. Fucking. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell do you do? One, is, one of us is gonna eventually give up and just look it up. We just had the fucking press on that one line. Yeah. <sighs> 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 
Oh my god. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. You. Yeah. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Yeah. Surely your answer doesn't one of the people in the, in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Well? Phoenix, this is critical. Ah. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from studio uh, from the trailer went to Studio One? I forget what you're meant to do here. I claim and claim it well. I had to... If I had realized everyone that fell off the earth in the trial was over. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. Victim was murdered at 2.30. The exact time to break in the meeting. 15 minutes? Murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. Suppose you might say that. Alright, I got the judge thinking now. Another dumb moment we use, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Hedgeworth? <sighs> You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record! Court record? Surely you knew that something from 2.15 to 4 p.m. P uh, was the bath between the two block. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Wasn't it Mr. Monkey? Oh, you're right. Mr. Monkey. You're fucked up. True. It said Mrs. in the text, though. Mr. is the correct one, though. Yeah. True, the break in the trailer was meeting him right at the time of death. However... The path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fall in Mrs. Monkeyhead was barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkeyhead. Uh, yeah! But Edgeworth has a point. <laughs> so yeah, it's acknowledged like Edgeworth is fucking up here. And somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> no. No counter arguments, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Can we just fucking lose? Court's been... Did we lose? Maybe. I will have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecutor is pleased to have announced that we indeed have a decisive evidence, a witness. What do you mean? Who's this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when Steel Sam Rice skewered the victim! Order! I will have order! Court will take a 10 minute recess after which we hear the witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Yeah. Well, we haven't lost yet. What do we do now, Mia? Remember when that trailer has an alibi? I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. You give up? What hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in that class examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. I think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Hart. 
If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai here to children everywhere, after all. I... Uh, you... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it! She likes kids. I'm not even gonna touch that one. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love the, the little detail that, like, it's Maya. Yeah. <laughs> The prosecution has concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tenure years, this is a murder case. Oh my god. We were that the defense might cause unnecessary trouble with cruel questioning. Nice to see it for taking the moral high ground. <laughs> However, we have no choice. <laughs> the prosecution called Cody Hackett to the stand? Sure. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you can arrange a box for him to stay on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Tall. Donut crates? They have donuts in here? They have crates full of donuts? Well, the witness stayed his name and grade in school. <laughs> Grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in the second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, I mean. Cody? <laughs> He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, er, yes, at, you were at Global Studios on the day of the incident. You got a problem with that? <sighs> Please, tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps over the, with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edward will do. I prefer beer, gentlemen, myself. A very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, is that you're saying you had to bargain in terms of the kid and your mom? <laughs> Like I mentioned, the kid is smarter than Phoenix, yeah. which means he's also smarter than Edgeworth. <laughs> hey, I just got you, I just got this new camera. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Yeah. Phoenix, I wonder if you had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of that in the courtroom. Sure. I went to bed at one fifteen last night. Very well, Cody. Pretty sure I went. I went to sleep later than that. Yeah. Well, I, s uh, I normally don't sleep that go to bed that late, but like I do. Uh. I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods out the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. Like I kind of lost in the way though. For about thirty minutes. When it came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai! It totally walked right before my eyes! Out came the bad guy! Of course, the steel samurai took him down! POW! If I had my camera with, uh, with me, that would have been the time for a shot at time. Yeah. Anyway, I wouldn't go into the studio, so I went home. Actually. Very well, but be gentle, remember, you're talking to a child! This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. <laughs> He's also, like, very upward about lying here. <laughs> well, here he's doing the trouble. <laughs> Press it, maybe? Before you start presenting shit. Cody always carries it. Fine. Cody. 
What you said just what you just said seems well a little strange. Did you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Ah! Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Right, a word with you! <laughs> uh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's uh, my digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. New by 2016 standards. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, Cody. I believe. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to this videos. You did bring it, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wright! How cool you are to terrorize him! <laughs> Why can't you get to do that himself? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, we're a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> well, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> nice way for Phoenix to just sell you there. Uh, I don't care if you're uh, uh, that you're that, that like the fucking prosecutors always fucking lie in this game. Yeah, they should. People shouldn't lie here. <laughs> yeah, so I hurt my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So you did have your camera, and did you use this camera? Why would I use it? Uh, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. And there's your other thing. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. To steal Samurai, he goes to the bad guy, wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the steel Samurai rolls! Hmm. Ah, is that all? That was brief. Let's write your cross examination. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. Oops. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't. You didn't turn away not even once. No. Okay. He tells exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. I meant no, no, no. I meant go back to. You have the scrapbook. Oh, yeah. oh shit! Too early. Fuck! I only got saved. Oh. <sighs> That's a hit. <sighs> Why would you present it there? How about pressing everything first? Okay. So, why didn't you use it? He's getting to that! Relax and listen! Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. So the bad guy attacked me first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! Let's see, he chose a dress. I kind of don't remember. I was going to see Wonka the Seal Samurai. Let's see, and what happened next? <sighs> why? Huh? Oh, what do you mean, why? Why was the bad guy moving? Well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do that? With a Samurai kick and a Samurai punch! Samurai chop, Samurai slap! Something like that! He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? I hate kids, so. Cody! What? Something's bothering me. Lori said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness stated that he saw it quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <clears throat> Edward would know. My, po my point is this. Koji, Cody, you may have seen some of the steel samurai's fight. 
But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order, order! Mr. Wright? How could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something that was so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? I was retained that the young boy's a great friend of the skilled samurai. Why wouldn't you watch the climax of the fight? He couldn't watch it. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he commonly watch a murder take place at his age? Just a moment, please. But when things become quite clear in this boy's testimony, he did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the skilled samurai fight like on TV. The more the real fight, the more he would have watched. Uh, <laughs> I have to agree with Mr. Rajor. Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation with it? Yeah. Yeah, that was basically saying, you had... No evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Um? Yes, Your Honor. Here's my proof. Proof? Uh, uh. Can I... Can I do that again? It doesn't... How does it not prove anything? Because you... He was watching something else. He missed the climax of the fight. Because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably? Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself! What could possibly distract the boy from seeing his idol of the Steel Samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something? Nothing. Barbara. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I did. I'm not based. Maybe he. Maybe. Uh, maybe the wrong piece of evidence. Yeah, I think you might have shown the wrong one. So I'm gonna save right here. I think it's the monkey. You really think the monkey is the reason he looked away from the fight? Wouldn't you have heard it? Didn't the murder occur when the monkey was dead? No. But yeah, but but it did. Worth a shot. Here's my proof. Okay, load. <sighs> Maybe you, let's read all of these. He's writing one leg. It has something to do with the camera. Maybe. The camera. Here's my. Point. He was looking at the camera to try and capture the photo. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. He has some aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at this critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? Do you have anything for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way you could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Cody, there was only one reason why you have looked away from the fight. That's because you want to take a picture. Having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So, you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Mm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right, me and me. Your Honor! The defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody? Could you please tell us more about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. <laughs> Welcome to the real world, kid. I'd like to point out. No Mia. Photo. Has Mia let Maya be Maya in a while? No, no. <laughs> no. It almost feels like she took over her, uh, Mia's life for like a day or so. <laughs> no photo? It's like those no, no bitches meme. No maidens? No photo? 
<laughs> no belt. Yeah, you're right, Pops. It's still Samurai right just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera and took a photo to take a photo a picture. I can't read. But the lens <laughs> wouldn't be it wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened! Yep! My ears hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happens. Mm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Not sure. But I'd like to proceed with cross examination anyway. No photo? <laughs> Press them up. Actually, you know, it says he it says all the victories, but you know. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah? You know, it's anything unusual? Um, uh. I guess the Seal Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Why can't you take a picture? I can't really too many buttons, I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture, I really tried. When the lens opened, what did you see? Well, a person on the ground, still samurai? That's all. Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture! Hmm, I would have once that, once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? No, even one. Close more? Hard. Now, I definitely would take There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Heck, because I know exactly what happened up there. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How do you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Rob's you could change your testimony to reflect the Room's too late, so I erased them. Actually, you take pictures of all the victories! Cody? <laughs> what? Man, every time you say Cody, you fall with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this uh, this the other day. Uh, uh oh, all right. What was it you told me then? I got on every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands and file blow. But damn, I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. NFTs. Stop. <laughs> That doesn't even make fucking sense! I don't know. Cody. He's n it's not even meant to be sold, it's just... Right. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai saying victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. Collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackers. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? The Steel Samurai just defeated his adversary. I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in his album. That's my point, Your Honor. Wait. No, wait, no way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is! Yeah, are we sure about this? Did he actually. Mm hmm. Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix, tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here! Why was there no picture of the album on the day of the murder? What would the, why would the boy have to race the photo too? Seal Samurai didn't win. I had to think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Without Cody? I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone ever! Your Honor. The, win the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. Cody was interested in what the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. 
He saw the Steel Samurai lose! Yet to admit, he, he saw what destroyed everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won! He couldn't handle the truth! Order! I will have order! Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw! Uh, <laughs> crybaby. Well, he's a second grader. That's I don't blame him. I was a crybaby back then, too. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down! But he didn't move! Ah! I'm not good at crying sounds. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. This must be a help for you. Order! Order! What kind of sight a son are you trying to pull right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim! Yeah, the poor here witnessed his testimony. The Steel Samurai was the one who fell! I mean, remember where you guys found the motherfucker? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on here? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. Uh, an error? What's this all about? Steel Samurai. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim! Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order! 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 So the Steel Samurai in the photograph? You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. B but wait! Mr. Hammer got to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. Remember what Miss Oldbad said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the dart station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He had already gone to see him before I'd gone back to the dart station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in the dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I... Uh, I don't know. I get it. Hmm? Shit. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit! POPS! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved! Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera! What? what? <laughs> Show us quick! No way, man! I'm not gonna look at me like that! Now! Here, this is it! Studio 2. Well, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This is decisive evidence. Uh, I'll give it back. Okay. Wait, Phoenix! Me? Mia? What? Look at that photo once more! That's it, Phoenix! That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial! What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Uh, certainly! I don't see why not. Show them, there's glaring, decisive into consistency with the facts that we know that, that, them in that photo. Number it's two. Easy. The, the, the two uh, up top. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, yes. Wait. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly. Clearly, that's clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edward sees what I'm getting at. But, but, th that's impossible! What's, what's this all about? Please explain so I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. Well, he's a studio guide map. 
body was found here, Studio One. However, what we do see in the photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the damn photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge what a murder took place. Studio Two. It took place at the. S yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> here, at Studio Two. I see. That would explain the two at the gate in the photo. Your Honor. I find a very significant murder took place in Studio 2. The path was blocked. Ugh! The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yeah, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. There were the ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio 2. Who were the only ones in As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meme was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meme corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmel and Mr. Ms. D. Vasquez were outside, eating safe. They were at the scene of the crime. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. Scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person in the security guard, Miss Oldbad, saw what was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a CL Samurai costume. Then went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did this to cover the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you want proof? Can we prove that the, the victim Jack ever stole the, the the costume? Uh, sleeping pills. Let's see what I have. Sleeping pills. Oh. Save. Yeah, I was going to. You should have saved before you press that. Oh. I should have proof. You do? You. You do, Mister Wright. No, there's no surprise. Suddenly, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right though. Here's my proof. Sleeping pills. This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on a table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. Table. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise the suspicious, yes. There's no proof Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint bottle. Uh, an idea? Well, very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claims are true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> check me. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings in the current trial for today. Thank fucking God. Cody Atkins' testimony was revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than what we previously thought. The steel samurai seen on Mr. by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? And also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. <laughs> That's, That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, mm, you will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor, I've slowly been throwing away the British accent because it's terrible, but... It just feels like the, the the more he loses, the less sophistication he gets. <laughs> just wait till you have to do the German accent. Oh boy, no. Yes. <laughs> Female German accent, even. No, oh, fuck. Um, Phew. Don't, I'm pretty sure we'll be doing Persona 4 before we get to Francisco's here. Yeah, probably. That was a close one. And that's like a 60 hour game, so we're good. Yeah. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. <laughs> really? 
You always seem so confident. Ha! Huh. Maybe I should take up a career in acting? You probably should. You, you're very good at fucking, like, that was very bluffing your way through shit. <laughs> Me too. Dad? <laughs> of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the truth over by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks! Holy shit, I'm fucking dead. The trial went on for an hour because we kept on getting lo lost. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, see you next time for the investigation. Then we conclude this trial. Then it'll be Christmas time. Ironically, in real life and the trial. <laughs> Probably.